Does it bother you? Do your no. legs bother you? Well, this one... I mean, I know it bothers your daughter, yeah. but does it bother you any? The fact that your legs are swollen? Does it feel heavy? Does it impair your walking? Does it feel like you you would do better if they weren't swollen? Definitely, yeah. Okay. You're at the, the, the early end. Your legs aren't nearly as bad as half the people I take care of. You know, these are legs that can easily be mended with a few, few minor, a few minor inconveniences to you. So what, what I would want to do for you um, is conservatively do what's called compression therapy by wrapping your legs weekly and increasing your Lasix for just two weeks, two or three weeks, till I get your legs down. Yeah, all I'm doing is taking one towel a day. Yeah, I would want to double that just for two weeks uh -huh. and wrap your legs with these compression um, bandages. Uh -huh. And then when we got them down, I would want you to use a veno pneumatic compression, a sequential compression machine that I would have sent out to your home, Medicare covers. And we have a, a gentleman that sells them. So he comes here and he takes care of the whole thing. All I do is write the prescription and he makes sure that your Medicare pays for it. So, but, but the inconvenience would be to you to have to put these on twice a day for 90 minutes. I can do it. Okay. I'm not working. And, and the only other thing uh, I would want is uh, if maybe Kim could help you to go online and to order some, uh, the, the stockings that they give you are just impossible to wear. I, I wouldn't, I would never prescribe them to anybody over 60. Are you over 60? 86. Okay. The bandages I'm going to put on you today have to stay on and they, they can be changed weekly until... So no shower or what? No shower. Uh -huh. That's the problem with that. So that's all there is to it How for many now. weeks? I'm going to say two or three. So it will take, and by that time we can get uh, those uh, that sequential compression um, device out to the house. That will maintain them at the level that he's at when we take off his Una boots. That's what's going to maintain them from swelling in the future. That plus the um, Comprofit, uh, you know, not the stocking. I'm going to show you a nice Velcro to wear. It's much easier to put on and much more effective. Something you'll wear when you get up until you go to sleep. Uh -huh. Something that can also be used beneath that veno pneumatic compression machine. So if you put these on in the morning and you take them off at night before you go to bed and you use that veno pneumatic compression machine, uh -huh. you're never going to be bothered by doctors or doctor's offices again for this problem. Oh boy, that's terrific. Well, I, I don't make those guarantees. I'm, oh. No, I take that back. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to. I'm not want to play God. I don't sure do that. I think right. it'll work. I don't think you need to go and have venous ablation for this. What's ablation? Operation. That's uh, it's not an operation. It's really a very uh, minor procedure where uh, you have um, your veins and your legs are not are not uh, they, the valves. Mm -hmm. Venous blood is blood that has to come up against gravity and uh, when it does that you have a one valve, the valves inside the vessels are like this, they open and close yeah. and they get pushed by volume. As uh, you get older the walls of the blood vessels get a little, uh, you know, they get a little, a little uh, flaccid and so when that happens the valves don't close properly so you get backflow of blood and you get backflow because when you're vertical you have gravity yeah. and so when you get backflow of blood you get seepage of the serum and plasma that bathes blood and it seeps into your soft tissues that's what this is here when I put my fingerprint here that's the seepage from the ve veins that are not adequate we call them um, inadequate veins or venous insufficiency that's the fancy term uh -huh. so uh, because of that problem what we try to do is support <coughs> your veins ability to bring blood back up to your heart and to do that my we, heart guy would be happy about that of course he would yeah he wants me to walk 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 all, all the time 
Well, you'll be able to do that. Um, but if you wear those and you do this compression twice a day, to keep the doctors away. And keep your legs. Care of it, huh? it, it'll it'll maintain it. it. You'll never get better, but you won't get worse. And that's what we try to do. If you quit doing the pump at home, it'll get worse again. It'll just you'll just have to come back here and. I'll have to go through this whole thing again with you. Uh, <laughs> you don't need that. And you know what? I got enough people. I, I got I got my kids' college funds all covered, so I don't need you to come back here. Uh -huh. If you do what you you know you're supposed to. It's because I want to see you. Well, that's good too. You know, the coffee's good here. <laughs> everybody stops here before they go to everybody else's office. No, go away. Yeah, coffee's good. Yeah, I haven't had any yet today, so. Well, it's coming. So that's the deal. Um, what would you like to do? Would you like me to show you how to do this? Sure. Okay. Good. All right.